this is a problem of friction involved in a bench wise basically if we will see this picture the picture is showing that there is a block which is fixed or fastened between the moving jaw and the fixed jaw of this wise and the moving jaw is moving because of the uh, longitudinal motion of this screw and the screw is basically moving because when we are rotating the screw there is a nut and because of the threads between nut and the screw the screw may move in the forward and the backward direction based on the force applied on the other end or on the lever of this screw so this is basically the picture of the bench wise which is having a block and screw and a nut and a lever and now I will state the problem that find the force P applied on the handle this is the handle of the uh, bench wise and because when we will apply a force the screw is going in the forward direction and, and giving a compression to the block which is having a value of 1000 Newton now uh, it is showing it is given that the screw is having a pitch of 8 mm uh, it's a single start thread and the nominal diameter of the screw is 20 mm the coefficient of friction between the nut and the screw is 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.2 and now it is asked to find the value of P so that the given compression generated in the block now you please see here that this force P is basically applied at the end of the lever or we should say the handle and because of this force P there will be a net coupled generated because the P force are acting in the opposite direction and the length of the lever is force 40 cm so there will be a couple or moment M will act which will be having a value P into 40 cm and this moment is responsible for the compression in the block and we have to find the value of phi which generate a compression of 1000 Newton now let's solve the problem so first I would like to give a brief of the screw friction that what we do in case of the screw friction so if you recall I have already uploaded few videos on the screw friction so you can see those videos in the screw friction what is there that the screw threads are moving in the helical path and we assume that the load in a fashion this is the simplest simple form of the uh, screw friction which is basically a mathematical model so we considered the load in this way and this is the effort suppose the F force is applied here basically when we see the top view of this screw we will find that this is the top view of the screw and if I will apply a tangential force F here basically it will create a moment on the screw and that moment is basically trying to move the screw in the forward or backward direction because the screw basically will be in a nut there will be a nut on this would be the nut so this is the nut part and this would be the screw part and due to the rotation the screw will mo may go in the forward and the backward direction and the other end of the screw is having basically a load this is basic model of a screw so when we have to first visualize that this basic model of the screw is how we have we can incorporate in this model so uh, we know that when this set of model of screw is having the load uh, the force F is basically defined by the W and 10 phi plus alpha where alpha is this helix angle and the helix angle can be identified if we basically unwrap the thread suppose the, the, this is this is one thread going from here to here and this is the pitch value so if I will unwrap this thread up I will unwrap this thread so it will go in this way so this total length if I'll see the base basically this is one periphery it I started from here and I completed my thread again here so this uh, total uh, motion is uh, uh, on the periphery so it would be the pi d and this is the pitch so based on these two value we can calculate the alpha this is the basic mathematical model of a screw which we are going to use in this problem so now let's see that this is the case uh, where we are having a block and there will be a thousand newton force uh, this thousand newton force basically there because of the motion of the screw so equal and opposite force will act on the surface of the screw which will basically considered as a load W in this formulation and then this is the pitch which is given here which is 8 mm now this is your lever and having a length I am I am showing here the half length of the lever is L so if I want to find the moment on the screw here the net moment will be P into 2L this is the moment because of the lever 
and now we have to correlate that how we can use this lever moment in this formulation so let's see uh, that how we are solving it now this is the for, uh, this is the screw model and first we will calculate what is the value of alpha so now i am unwrapping one thread so this will be my pi d and this will be my pitch the pitch value is 8 mm diameter is given as 20 mm so my alpha is coming out 7.256 degree at the same time if i'll see the formula the formula says that the f will be equal to w 10 phi plus alpha where phi is the friction angle so friction angle can be calculated using the mu value which is given 0.2 so this 10 inverse 0.2 is basically 11.3 degree so now i have the phi angle as well as the alpha angle and now the only important job remain is that how we can calculate this this value can be incorporated in my formula so see here that my formula is basically what when we are having this side view I am basically going to explain that how you can incorporate the lever movement in the formula so initially we started that this is the side view and I am applying a force here F which is generating a moment M1 on the screw this is not the actual moment of the lever this is the moment because of the this tangential force so my formula is basically F is equal to W 10 phi plus alpha now replace this f by a moment which is a moment on the screw divided by the radius and the radius is basically the radius of the screw so it will be half of the diameter now this w will remain as it is 10 phi plus alpha now we know that basically this moment what we are what is there is not because of the direct force f but it is because of the lever and we are applying a force on the lever so i know that the my moment is p into 2l so ultimately my formula will become p into 2l where 2 is the total length of the lever and then this is r r is the radius of screw which will be equal to w and 10 value so now my final formula will become uh, that my formal final formula will be basically uh, p into length of the lever divided by radius of the screw equal to the load and 10 phi plus alpha in some of the cases what happens instead of applying the two forces we generate a couple sometime it is given that there is a screw and there is a lever and we are applying a force p only at one end of the lever so in that case basically you have to multiply it with p into l you are not going to multiply here p into 2l because you are applying not instead of applying a couple you are generating a moment by applying a single force in that case you have to you should be very careful either you are going to use the length of the lever this will be the full length or maybe the half length you have to see the question and then you have to apply in our case basically we are applying two p forces so it is going to generate a couple and that couple value will come here so my formula will basically 2 l p by r is equal to 1000 10 phi plus alpha so see let's see here that when i will apply all the value here that p is the uh, force here then 0 0.4 is the length of the lever 20 is the diameter so i am doing 20 by 2 this is the radius it is given in the millimeter so i am multiplying here 10 to the power minus 3 then 1000 newton is weight given this 10 will be 7.256 plus 11.3 and when i am solving this i am getting the p value is coming out 8.39 newton that means when i will apply a force of 8.39 newton here as well as here it will create a moment which will move the screw in the forward direction and it will create a compression in the block that compression compressive force will basically act as a reacting force on the surface or on the screw as a loading and then i can consider uh, calculate the moment or the force fee which is required to generate this moment thank you